Hello guys, today I'm going to explain you how facial landmark detection we work and what are how what are the importance of those landmark detection. This video is sponsored and powered by Webtunic Solutions, evaluated by the tool of Webtunic, and I'm going to explain you the demo version of it, which is built on MATLAB. So uh, as a, as you can see here, I already put some marking that this is the point one. This is the first landmark, and each point can be represented with some set of coordinate that is x1 y1 and this is the fi final landmark which is the landmark number 68 and this co these coordinates rep rep shall be represented by the x68 and y68 these facial landmark you know in uh, currently our automated tool sub 68 facial landmark as you can see so that we can identify the corner of lips centralized pixels and the lower ends nose and everything these uh, these landmark detection is also help us enable us to identify the mood behavior of the person if he is laughing the the, the distance between the, these landmarks will get increase and if he is sad or something like that distance will get decrease we also obtain why we are get, why we are obtaining uh, this much higher number of landmark so that we can uh, actually obtain the jawline of those landmark like this 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 was our original image so before we without wasting your time uh, so much and uh, I'm not going so much into explanation uh, let me show how the program is work and what uh, how these landmark look like while program get runs I'm going to uh, use input sample image uh, the same one and uh, will show you the output like this and thereafter I'll try this program with some other images uh, so here we go let me disable this thing and minimize it I'm going to go to the my MATLAB program let me run it and I'm, I name is as a landmark detection and let me show you that this is a very small program the, uh, the complex library is running on the back end this uh, these landmark detection is also available in OpenCV uh, and the library name is dlib there's a limitation of dlib library you cannot go on the core side of it and you can also build these landmark detection on the top of tensorflow top of tensorflow in case of tensorflow what you need to do you need to build data in a way that it is uh, taking input the whole face images and giving you output of these 68 x coordinate and 68 y coordinate so meanwhile I'm going to show you the simplified version of the program and how it runs okay while I run the program it uh, asks me to take some input image there are plenty of Im plenty of images now I'm taking this sample images the one I've shown you here I have downloaded this Im image from internet and uh, this is my input image <laughs> meanwhile after some time when pro program get finished you will get the output like this so you can see the you you will be getting these landmark these landmark is being written here in the form of text so you can see 68 corner so what you, uh, how these 68 corners will look like let me show you the architecture <coughs> these are the coordinate pixels okay so first and third row which represent our x1 and second and fourth row which represent our y1 coordinates you will get these 68 landmarks run this program again with some other input type input image and let me take some input image like this uh, no like this like that like that okay, take any one
So uh, here I obtain the landmark. Okay, as you can see, we are getting 68 landmark, and it is able to identify like eyes, nose, lips, eyebrows, and all. Okay, so uh, here I'm done for time being. Thanks, uh, thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you want any other type of services like uh, automatic landmark detection, image annotation, you can call us. Uh, my number is given on the title of the video. And uh, thank you guys. Goodbye.